is William, and we're here with some exciting news from Binance Dex. The validators have given us positive votes, so we're going to be executing the listing command very soon. So we hope that you are just as happy with this news as we are. And we wanted to create a tutorial to teach you how to swap your ERC20 tokens over to the Binance protocol BEP2. So the token swap bridge is now live and we have this tutorial ready for you. So um, when you open up the token swap bridge, you're going to see this button here that says connect and you're going to go ahead and click on that. And for today, we're going to show you how to swap your tokens using MetaMask. However, we do have these other options where you can connect to our interface here. Uh, you can use your Ledger or Trezor hardware wallet or a number of different hybrid and software wallets. If you are storing your cat in a wallet that does not connect to our interface, don't worry. You can still process the swap manually. It's very easy. And we'll talk about that in the video. So here I do have my MetaMask wallet unlocked. So I'm going to go ahead and click on MetaMask and it's going to populate the information here in the corner. You have my wallet address, my balance, and you'll notice here that I have KATT. However, that's our test token. So you are going to just see KAT. Now the bridge is basically only two steps. Um, if you're using a, another wallet besides one of our wallets, then it's one extra step, but uh, it's still very easy. If you haven't created a Binance wallet, uh, we have this button here where you can click it and go to the Binance wallet creation tutorial. And uh, you have these disclaimers here that I highly recommend that you read through these. It's gonna be very important that you understand how to keep this wallet secure because if anybody gains access to the information that you get on this page, then they'll have access to not only your cat, but your BNB and any other tokens that you have on Binance Chain. So very important, uh, I can't stress security enough. Make sure that you read through this. If you have any questions about anything in here, feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have, but I think most of it's fairly straightforward. So I'll let you read through this on your own time. Um, but basically what you're gonna do here is create a password and make sure it's a very strong password of letters uh, both uppercase and lowercase numbers and symbols, uh, strong, long combination of all of those. It's going to give you a file to download. Then you are going to write down your passphrase. It's a pretty long passphrase. I recommend writing it down on paper, not storing it on your computer. That way, you know, a virus can't intercept what you're typing. So I write it down two or three times and just uh, store them in different safe locations like safety deposit boxes and things of that nature. After that, it's going to ask you to re-enter your words to make sure that you uh, wrote them down correctly. If you get anything wrong, you can always go back and see the words again. After you've confirmed your words, it's going to go ahead and log you into Binance Dex. So once you're here, this is where you're going to get your Binance wallet from. So if you click right up here where this profile picture is, it's gonna pull down a drop down menu and you can see this button here that says copy address. So you're just gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna copy your Binance address to your clipboard and you're gonna head back over to the cat bridge and just paste your address into this box here. Once you do that, all you have to do is click confirm and it's gonna populate your Ethereum deposit address. This is where if you're using a wallet that does not connect to our platform, then you're gonna go ahead and double click on this and copy this into your clipboard and head over to the wallet that's storing your cat and send your cat to this address. Now, one thing to note is that you have to send at least 1000 cat. You cannot swap less than 1000 cat. And uh, another thing to remember is to make sure that you have the whole address. So you can see the end of the address here is 14A. You can see the beginning is 015. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you get your address correctly. Your address will be different than my address. So the best way to make sure that you get the whole address is by double clicking it. That will highlight the entire portion and copy that. And then again, to make sure that you send at least 1000. If you do happen to copy down the address wrong, unfortunately, there will be no way for us to recover the funds that you send to that address. So that's why it's very important just to make sure. So with that, um, our wallet MetaMask does connect to the platform. So if you're using a wallet that does connect to the platform, all you're going to have to do is click on this deposit button and it's going to open a transaction in the wallet that you're using. So all I, it normally would make a pop-up box here, but my video recording software interferes with MetaMask for some reason. When you click that button, 
this will automatically pop up here and it's just going to have information about the transfer. I am transferring 1000 cat to be swapped over to BEP2 and there's a little bit of a gas fee here for transaction fees. Uh, so you're going to need just a tiny bit of Ethereum in your wallet. So after you um, verify this information, you can go ahead and here's another place that you can double check that you got the address right. As you remember before, I said it ended in 14A and started in 015. So that's another place that I can verify it's going to the right place. And I'll go ahead and click on confirm. And after just a moment, the Cambria platform will recognize the transaction. And you can see a token swap progress bar here. This may take five to 10 minutes, although often it will be much quicker. And once it gets to 100%, you will have some information here to um, validate that the transaction actually happened. It will give you um, a transaction ID and things of that nature down there. So I hope this was helpful. And again, as always, if you have any questions about any of this process, feel free to reach out. Our email address is info at cambria.io and just leave in the subject there that you need help with the wallet and we'll get right back to you. So thank you for watching and uh, we hope you learned something today and we'll see you next time.